hello and welcome everyone to episode 7. Hope you're having a great day and in this episode we get a lot of sick RNG. It doesn't stop coming and I really do think this is my best episode yet. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. And I have no long until band or spawn so I'm going to put on protect from melee. But we end up, ended up getting a godsword shard too. Not too bad at all. And unfortunately that's the end of the Bandos task, didn't receive any drops but we ended off on 95 kill count, so that's not so bad. And a quick card clue coming in, let's see what we get. Bucket Helm and a bunch of rubbish. So we have an easy and medium from Ecumenical Keys from the Armadale we did earlier, didn't get anything interesting so you didn't, that's why you didn't see anything. And also got the hard from Hellhound task. So let's see what's inside, all three of them. Easy first, shocking, medium, it's not a bad medium you know, I use both of those, and the hard, alcohols in general, eh, can't complain. And with that good sword shard 2 I got yesterday, I can finally make another blade, I already made half of it cause I'm stupid, so let's make the last part of this blade and make a ZGS for Black Jin Chompers when I go there, if I ever do need to go there because I probably will end up going Armadale off task again and Red Shins didn't fare that well so I'd end up doing Blacks and anyways ZGS on the account, not too bad, not too bad and we receive a hard casket from our Aberrant Spectres task so let's see if we get anything good no, no we do not so let's see what our 400th task is going to be. The only reason my task count is actually so low is because I didn't get my trident until 88 Slayer. So I started bo uh, boosting tasks and boosting points as well just so I could get that trident out of the way and start Zora. But that was like ancient history. So anyway, let's see what task we get. Dagonovs. I will never say no to Dagonov Kings. Ever. Thank you. So that's a DMED from Prime. I don't want it so it's staying on the ground. And I do my one B ring call for the trip and get a ring of life. Thanks. Doesn't happen often but just got an elite so I will swap that ring through H for it. Thank you very much. That will be done after this task, got 75 left. Still no rings, let's try and get one. Just got a Sears ring as well on KC 1379. Not too bad, and two rare drop table items. <laughs> and we have the hard and elite from the case we got earlier. So let's see what's inside. And we get an Armadale page 4 and an Armadale blessing. Not too bad, and the elite. We don't get anything, but that is by far the most amount of coins I've ever had from a single clue scroll. Almost 30k. AFK and a bit too hard, but ended up getting 95 fishing. So that's very nice. Four more to go. It probably will be done through bar fishing at some point, but as you know, monks are my go to AFK, and I have like, I think it's either 48 or 49k. So this cooking ain't a problem. So barbarian fishing probably will be coming up at some point in the future. But other than that, 95 fishing. Currently we're smithing some mithril dart tips so then we can go back to shamans because I ended up doing the cannon method and just killing all three and I really enjoyed it. So I'm going to do that over safe spotting. Uh, excuse the background noise but we just got a dragon spear from shamans. So that's still not a dragon warhammer. Did look like it but didn't get that excited. I knew it wasn't a dragon warhammer. Come on, we know I'll never get it. Oh my god, just got my fourth curved bone at Shaman's. Uh, thank you, but I'm really starting to get annoyed now. <laughs> to tell you the truth, I'm fucking shaking right now. Just got the Dragon Warhammer. I am so happy with everything. I want to go and check my kill count. I teleported as soon as I got it. I have no idea why. My cannon is still there, as you can see, XP drops, and oh, I'm so happy, oh my god. 
So let's see the kill count overall. I have killed quite a lot of little, little ones as well, so I want to round that out to say 7k, 6,900 maybe. So yes, I have finally got it. Shamans can get lost. Right, I did a farm run, I've calmed down a bit, so let's just talk about this Warhammer a minute. So the only thing that I do have left for raids before the Void nerf would have been an Armadale crossbow. A rune crossbow is just fine, but an armor is just extra points. You could like snipe the loot or something like that. And now, since Void is gone, I want to use Bandles and Armadale. So I'm going to need the chain skirt as well, even though it was my goal anyway. But I'm going to switch the mornings from doing shamans to then hunting black chins so I can do Armadale off task. Since you know that I've. What was it? I think it was 700. Oh, 800, over 800k without a uh, armor task now. So, so the first task after I get the Dragon Warhammer ended up getting Lizard Men. So I'm going to take off the Lizard Men task now. Cancel it. At all. Cancel it and then get another one. See what we get. Krasks. I'm not going to do that. What else is there? Dark Beast, I can do that. Wasn't expecting that, but just picked up a Dark Bow, four kills before the end of the task. Not bad, I think that's either my third or fourth Dark Bow now. Stack's getting up there. Quick hard clue coming in, see if we get anything interesting this time. We got an Ancient Page 2, not too bad at all. Hard clue from Abyssal Demons, so let's have a look inside. Okay, Alcabals, not that bad. So, the Inferno just went live, and I'm going to be hunting Black Chins for the majority of the day, just so that I can start camping Armadale and start working on more of my RNG goals. So, halfway through my Chinchompa grind, well, not grind, but daily, if you want to call it, whatever, I get my Chinchompa pet. It's about time, to be honest. I never got it from a 99 hunter and I didn't know why. Oh, just under 15 mil hunter XP. Yes, man. What is that? That's 10 pets now. Got a quick hard clue coming in. Let's see if we get anything interesting. A Guthic plate skirt. I might not have that. Not too bad. We got a quick mud battle staff incoming from our DK's trip. Literally just got an archer's helm and a circle one kill apart. So I think this trip is just going to be troll drops and no rings really. So hopefully I'm wrong, but if not, then I'll see you at the end of the task. So I think I jinxed it. The past two DK tasks have been dreadful in terms of drops. Obviously the bones were always nice, as I always say. Um, I do enjoy DKs quite a lot and I'm really hunt hunting for that Armadale task but if not then it's not a problem I'll just go off task but this is going to be the end of the DK's task and I'll probably be back with another task okay so literally after that DK's task I haven't even finished like banking as you can see by my inventory but we just got 200 aliencies I am ecstatic about that so we are going to do some Armadale tonight I am very happy let's hope to get the chain skirt Coming in with our third Armadale chest plate. I generally thought that was a chain skirt, but it's a ch another chest plate, so I can't complain and I'm about to die. And a few kills later, we're coming in with an elite. I think that's rarer than a piece, but I do like elite, so it's not too bad at all. Okay, I'm positive that is not on Kriara's drop table. A Chaos Talisman. She's making fun of me, isn't she? But I can't complain. I have been blessed with the third chest plate. Right, we have a hard and an elite from Criara. Well, the Criara, the Aviancy's task. So let's just open them up. And we get Sarah plate body, not too bad. And the elite's always garbage. 
just finished catching black chins for the day and the current stack is at 2292 not too bad um, I'm only going to be doing like one or two armadale trips a day if I don't get a task so well, right now I have a task so I'm going to be going right there after get ecumenical keys and let's hope to get the chains cut okay okay um, I think that's a 1 in 3k but still, that's my second abyssal head, so no bank space taken. Uh, not complaining. Quite a good drop to get. I would prefer a whip, but still good. So, have a hard clue from Abbey Demons. Let's see what's inside. Alka rules, not too bad. And also, I have frozen right here. Anyways. Uh, I am 8k off my defense level, so I'm going to go and do my Abbey Demon task, get 99 defense, finish max melee, not going to get the cape, don't need it, and then we continue Slayer for now, I guess, until we can get that Armadale Chain Skirt. It's finally about time that we finish off our last level in the melee category. There we have 99 defense, as I said in the previous clip I'm not going to go and get the cape, but that looks amazing, only prayer to go, and then we focus on maxing. Hard clue coming in real quick from Abbey Demons. What is that? Wow that's dropped in price, but we've got our first occult from the little guys. Um, this is, I think, the second task I've done of the little guys. I've skipped it to a couple and also done like four or five hundred boss kills as well. So, not too bad, not too bad. A cult. Hard clue. Unholy blessing. Uh, this would be a sick clue for dead man mode. <laughs> but other than that, it's pretty garbage. Well, that was long overdue and very fast. I don't think it was that fast. But just got my soul bearer because in his old heads, you know, inventory space, that sort of thing. But still, it's nice to have it out of the way. And we got a quick hard clue coming in from Abbey Demons for the Bandos page. Been waiting for this for a while, but just ended up managing to get another whip. Let's just have a look at it on the ground real quick. Oh, it's an Abbey Demon in a way. Move. Looks so amazing on the ground. Right, just got 231 Aviancy's task, so I think Duradel is finally making up for that one point, like one mil XP where I didn't even get an Aviancy's task. So anyways, let's get this chain skirt and let's finish off Armadale. Just planting spirit tree in the last patch that I need to. Um, I come over this side to cut the teaks or is it mahogany trees? It's just faster percentage in my opinion. So let's just pay him real quick, and then next time I collect miscellanea, it will be ready. So, to my knowledge, that is the second Dragonstone I've had from Criara. Uh, I can't complain, I've had really good RNG here, so... Whatever. And then at the next kill, we're coming in with a God Sword Shard 1. Not too bad. At least it's not a God Sword Shard 3, I have like... I think five of them still so that's good and once again I've outdone my personal best I have no idea what I, what was my personal best before this but after these two kills it's gonna be 80 so that's very good um, I'm getting better at Armadale and hopefully that chain scout comes soon and we have yet another Dragonstone incoming from Kriara I want to know is this on a drop table or is this actually RDT because if it's on a drop table then I really don't mind, but if it's RDT then it's another story. Just got a Guffix Full Helm, don't know if it's a new unique or not. So let's go to the bank and check. And this is going to be the end of the Aviancy's task. Did not get anything apart from the Elite Clue and the two Dragon Stones, if I remember correctly. Um, why am I barraging? Last kill. So let's see if we can use the Slayer Cape to get a back to back task with Aviancy's because that would be like amazing just to have another task of aviancies altogether really want that skirt 
you made it this far, you made it to the end of the episode. We got some amazing drops in this episode, getting closer to raids every time. We did a lot of Slayer in this episode, going for that Armadale Chain Skirt, but we haven't got it yet, unfortunately. We did end up getting the Dragon Warhammer, which would be useful in places like KQ. We got the third Armadale chest plate, which is just going to look pretty in the bank and also makes this on drop rate for Armadale. We did also do a lot of clues, which we just got a lot of duplicates. We didn't really get any new uniques or any items or anything. And last but not least, I got the Chim Pet, which is one of my favorite pets in the entire game. Uh, it's, it's just so nice. But anyways, if you enjoyed the video, then like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in a week.